First of all, I'd like to thank King of Valika for providing all the footage that you're about to see. I'll link his channel in the description in case you want to learn more about MKX Arenas. So the first stage we're gonna explore is the marketplace. Uh, this is supposed to be an outworld, but the more you look around, the more it feels like you're in an Arab country. I mean, the sandy terrains, we've got a big castle in the background, which bears a striking resemblance to the Blue Mosque of Istanbul. And looking at the people too, I mean, they're wearing robes, headscarves, and even turbans. The only thing that reminds you of the fact that you're in Outworld are the Turkatans that walk around with their blades extended for some reason. Another interesting thing that you can see in the background is this huge animal that looks like a bull on steroids, whose owner seems to have a hard time trying to get it to move. Looking at the center of the marketplace, there are two beasts that are turning some kind of a rack, and those beasts are being closely monitored by another Turkatan who for obvious reasons got a whip in his hand. Alright, from Outworld we travel to Earthrealm, precisely at the refugee camp, where the first hidden thing you notice is one of Sonya Blade's Special Forces member aiming at the players from above the trailers with a sniper rifle. In the right corner of the stage, we can see four Outworld refugees huddled by a large tin can with burning fire inside of it. It's gotta be really, really cold out there. Probably the most interesting scene is happening right across from the players. There you see a portal from Outworld, uh, which was used by the refugees to escape the civil war between Melina's forces and Quattle Khan, uh, as explained by Lee Mei in the story mode. Interestingly enough, the portal is supervised by a security member and whenever a Tarkatan comes out of it, he's immediately eliminated and dragged away. But if you keep monitoring the situation, you can see that when a refugee comes out, the security guy helps him up and even directs him to the camp. But what's funny about this is that if you keep following the refugee, he will just disappear as soon as the door closes. Other than that, there's pretty much nothing aside from 2D textures in the background, and that's why we're going back to Outworld, and this time we are in the Emperor's Courtyard. So the first thing we're gonna look at is this worker who's making some sort of a shield. Of course you're gonna have to be prepared for Molina's attacks, right? What I find intriguing about this stage is this huge statue of Shao Kahn being brought down by a chained beast. So we assume that this is taking place right after Kotal Khan's coup against Melina, because if you look in the background, you can actually see a huge golden statue of Kotal Khan that is still undergoing construction. Other than that, there's pretty much nothing other than more workers doing their job constructing the magnificent empire of Koral Khan. And as you may have anticipated, they're also watched over by the Emperor's Guards. Alright, we're in the Netherrealm, the deadliest place in the Mortal Kombat universe. And as you may have expected, the first thing we run into are corpses hanging from a metallic pillar. What a view! Uh, who knows what these poor souls did to deserve such a fate. But we're in the nether realm, so don't question these things. They happen all the time. Now, there are two things that I found interesting about this arena. Uh, the first thing can be seen right next to the rock on the left, which shows the Mortal Kombat logo. For some reason, it is hidden in the background, but it's very likely that it was going to be used as part of the lava river visible to the players. But maybe the developers just decided to change their mind and scrap the idea altogether. The other thing is that floating castle you see in the background. 
Now everything that appears far away is usually just 2D textures like we saw in the refugee camp, but when you get closer to that specific castle, it is actually a 3D object that is partially modeled for obvious reasons. Not so far away from this place, we have Quan Chi's fortress, which is also located in the nether realm. Of course, the first noticeable element is something that is not really hidden, but it's interesting to take a look at. I mean, check this out. For some reason, this incomplete flesh construct reminds me of Blaze from Armageddon. Wouldn't you all agree? In the background, which looks like a combination of a library and a chemistry lab, you can observe some bottles which assumingly contain chemicals along with lots of books. Who knew that Quan Chi is also a nerd aside from being a prominent necromancer? Now in the middle we find Shao Kahn's armor whose mask is actually fractured on the left side. I don't know if you remember this, but this is the way it was after Khan's death uh, at the hands of the Elder Gods in MK9, so it's really interesting the amount of detail they put into that. On the opposite side of the room is a stairway that looks like it leads to a second floor, but there's actually nothing at the end of it. Alright, we're back once again in Earthrealm, and this time we are in Raiden's Sky Temple. And I would say that this is the most extensive arena too. If you go to the extreme right side of the stage, you can actually find a fully modeled building that you can't really see while playing. In the background, there's a tornado and two bridges that unfortunately don't have any body fighting on them like we saw in MK9. Uh, but still, the attention to small detail and the vast scope of this arena still makes it worth exploring. Going back to the center of the arena, there are four statues and one of them has its torso removed for some reason. And something else that got my attention is that the Shaolin monks are praying at one specific statue that bears a striking resemblance to Shang Tsung, wouldn't you agree? Alright, with this I conclude today's video. Uh, let me guys know what you'd like to see next. For more, make sure to like the video and as always, subscribe to Gamelution.